What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in today's video it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you guys my new acoustic sound panels and how I'm going to install them in my YouTube studio. Alright, so I bought these on Amazon. They are the 1x12x12 foam panels and I'll link it down in the video description. Feel free to go check it out. But a little bit of a disclaimer guys though, these are a little flimsy, a little cheap. They are only one inch and since I'm in a small space shooting in a corner here, I'm hoping these guys do work and later on in the video you will see the difference and I'll do some tests on different sound. So we'll see how good these are, but hopefully it'll be good enough. So with that guys, let's dive into today's video and see how these work. All right, so the first part in this is to open your tiles. Once they arrive in the mail, open them up slowly and gently. You don't want to damage the foam. Once you have them open, start stacking them. Once you stack them and you have them open in an area, you're gonna have to let them set for about 24 hours. Now, depending if you got a two inch or three inch foam, you might have to wait longer, but for my one inch foam pack, I had to let them sit for about 24 hours. So make sure you read the instructions on your foam tiles. Okay, so I was doing a lot of research and there's a lot of different ways you can go about mounting sound panels in a studio. And probably one of the best ways that I've came across is by using command strips. And I found these on Amazon, so I'll also link these down in the video description. But basically, they are little strips that you can mount on the back of the sound panels and on the wall, and they'll be able to stick to them. And what's nice about this is that they don't mark up your walls, so you can easily remove these later if you want to remove the sound panels or move them in a different location. And not only that, but like if you guys are in an apartment or in a rental property where you can't mark up your walls or change the walls or paint them, this will help you guys. Or if you're lazy like I am and you have your own place and you just don't want to repaint the wall if you mark them up, then these are going to be great for you. And not only this, but command strips are also good for photos or really any other weird things that you like hanging on your walls. All right, so next it's time to install them. And the first part I did is I kind of went around the room and started taking measurements, started to imagine how the tiles should be, how should they be formatted, how many do I have, and where should they go? Once you have an idea, you'll have to start by applying the command strips to your tiles. So easily stick two command strips together and then firmly press against the tile to apply it. And it should stick to the back side of the tile. For me, I use two pairs per tile. And this worked out for me, but if your tiles are a little bit heavier, you might want to use more. And then once you do that, feel free to start tiling up your wall. And I just rinsed and repeat this until I used up all of the tiles. And I actually unfortunately ran out of command strips, so I'm going to have to order more to finish building all my tiles, but most of them are up. There's only like six tiles I did not use. But I do think I have enough tiles up to show you guys the sound difference between not having tiles and using tiles. All right guys, so the sound panels are installed now, but you are still listening to the original audio uh, before the sound panels are installed and we'll do a few tests. So this is without the sound panels installed right now. This is how it sounds like using my voice. All right guys, and this is with the sound panels installed. Now, as I mentioned, I didn't wasn't able to install all of them. I still need to order a few more command strips because I ran out of command strips. But this is how it sounds like without, with the sound panels. So hopefully there's a difference, we'll have to see. So there should be less echo, less reverb as the sound waves hit the panels, it should absorb the sound more. And now let's do some clapping. So this is what it sounds like without sound panels clapping.
So that does it for today's video, guys. If you wanna take a look at my YouTube studio setup, I did make a tour video, so if you're interested in seeing the camera I use, how I set up the lighting and other things related to my studio space, I'll link that video right up here. Feel free to go watch that. But hopefully now my sound sounds a little bit better, less echoey maybe, and a less little reverby. So as always, thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.